you'll see when he's got new guns, you'll see a couple of dropouts, it's a legend 3D, and it's a full of custom deals. But because of that, we've had to eliminate that the facts, which is good. I also want to say, what did I get set up here? Um, we're hiring. <laughs> so if you guys are looking for jobs, or any of us looking for jobs, we're hiring compositors and conversion artists. Uh, we're hiring all levels of skill. We also have, um, we hire a lot of entry level compositors. <laughs> Ken's going to slap my hand if I do anything wrong. Uh, this is a shop we worked on for Spider-Man. Um, like Robert was saying, this was part of the Stereo Works division. Um, with the native stereo popularity rising, um, there's a call for native stereo repairs and uh, native stereo asset generation. So this was uh, one of our first projects. And we had this entire sequence of Spidey under the underground in the sewer. And uh, we had to do the full rig removal and removal of wires. We played the background, we played the Spidey's full suit, get rid of the shadows, everything. Um, so you'll see my script pretty soon that tore Spidey to shreds, and basically there's zero source left over. And, but it looks amazing. Um, the, uh, the process we do usually with, with any asset generation is we start with the rotos, and one of the things clients didn't want was articulate, perfect stereo rotos. And it was a kind of a ruling process because um, the, the uh, process of moving to the left eye, starting with the left eye, moving the rotos to the right eye was a manual process for the most part. In some, in some cases, you were able to just translate, and you have, you have a, a working roto, but there was a lot of point uh, manipulation that needed to take place because clients were calling out sub-pixel artifacts um, in the stereo holdout. So it was, uh, it was quite tedious, but it was an awesome learning experience. Um, one thing I forgot to throw on here, which was probably the most important thing, was the final version of this um, composite. However, I do have a uh, Spidey in the script full composite, but I'll show you what I have of my big render of um, Spidey on the black, just to kind of give you a quick sneak peek of what we did. So it 
gave me a nice organic track that I could just apply to the grid work. And so if you just look at this here, uh, a lot of the warping that's happening on Spidey here, Spidey, I'm sorry, Spidey's the name that we can take the known as, uh, is you can see there's minimal keys. There's like maybe eight keys on here. Uh, the rest of the smoke is just doing the job. It's basically giving that nice organic fluid feel and making his uh, his costume like it's it's actually moving. Um, same thing goes for the screen left sheet. Pretty much broke down his entire body this way. Oops. And uh, use tracking information from Mocha throughout. I do the same thing for the screen left arm. Actually, screen left arm I think was just a over a Google. So it was Google as well. Um, just to give you kind of a quick view of the, the roto here. Generating uh, this essentially a displacement map, a disparity map. It's 
to uh, put that into the, put our left, in, left eye information into the right eye. And the program we use for that is Ocula, which uh, essentially using the disparity map is similar to using an eye distort or a, an eye distort and, and a displacement map. Um, in Ocula, it, it basically is going to analyze the left and right image. And uh, at first, it's, it's going to solve, it's, it's gonna solve the, uh, to do a camera solve, kind of similar to like a 3D camera solve, where it's, it's uh, determining the disparity or the spatial relationship of the two cameras between the left and right eye. And based on that information, your uh, disparity generator, disparity generator uh, uses that uh, spatial relationship and uh, reanalyzes it and then determines what the uh, distance is between a given pixel between two, between two eyes and generates a disparity map, which looks like this. For an object, like 
he ranked once five better than playing against Spidey Death, but uh, this line one the brain is playing in the shot, which was kind of a nice uh, alternative. So we're able to just harness the brain and put it back on. And uh, that was pretty much our process. And then we went back to this magnificent presentation. No? Okay. Um, Same thing. 